Hi, I'm Joel Friedlander, and I write the Book Designer blog. Now, today I'm doing my first ever video blog. And, uh, you know, I've always wondered what to do on my blog on Saturdays. Monday through Friday, I write my uh, self-publishing posts, book design, typography, things that are going on in the book world. On Sunday, I always have my link post, which is kind of fun. But, you know, I've never really known what to do on Saturday. So, now I have an idea, and what I'd like to do is have a Q&A. In other words, I get a lot of questions in my inbox. Let's face it, every day I get questions from self-publishers who are stuck, or they don't know what to do, or they're trying to make a decision, and it's really difficult, and they're just trying to work out what to do next. Now, it seems to me that a lot of these questions are similar to other people's questions, because everybody kind of gets stuck at the same place. So my thought was, why not answer these on my blog, and that way many people could benefit, and at the same time, uh, I could get to do something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is video blogging, and I thought it might be a little fun. Now for today, I got a lot of questions from an author this week I was corresponding with about publisher information. In other words, where does he put his publisher information? Does it have something to do with his ISBN, or is it about the printer, or does he have to contact Amazon? exactly what is going on. And it was very confused. And I can understand that. As a matter of fact, several months ago I wrote a whole blog post about Link and setting up your account and setting up your book title in Link and how important that is. Now I've included a link to that post underneath this video. And that's going to be very important. Now you're going to want to check that out if you're interested in this area, if you're doing this right now or getting ready to do it. Setting up our account under our publisher name at Valkyrlink, or you could do it either at Valkyrlink, or we can now do it at the other website, which is called myidentifiers.com. Now, all these links are in the article that I mentioned, which is linked right under this video. Now, this is a crucially important step in publishing your book, and it's not well understood by most self-publishers. You'll see in that article that I've enumerated 25 pieces of information they're asking you for. Only about half of those pieces of information are actually required. Does that mean you should skip the other half and go on and do something else? No. You're going to enter all of those information pieces. Why are you going to do that? This is really in your best interest to make sure this particular record is as complete as possible. And I'm going to tell you about one particular area that we're going to concentrate on. But before I get to that, let me explain to you what's going on here. This record is oriented around your ISBN. That's how it's organized and you retrieve the information by the ISBN. Now you're populating, actually when you're filling out this form, you're populating or filling in the database that's called the Books in Print database. Now the Books in Print database is the biggest database for book information in the United States. It's run by Bowker. Like I said, it's organized around the ISBN. But when retailers or somebody else want information on your book, frequently they're going to end up, one way or another, drawing it from the Books in Print database, because that's the basic place you get book data. So, what can we do to maximize our entry for our book in the Books in Print database? Well, you're going to fill out all the forms, as I said, you know, all those fields, and uh, you'll see in the blog post, there's only two pages, I think, that it's not, not complicated. But you're going to get to one of the fields that's not required, and it's called annotation. Now, what the heck is an annotation? I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a description. Okay, so you're looking at a description field. You get about 250 words to put into that description field, and this is crucial because in this field, you want to put whole sentences, but you want to put as many keywords as you can. Now, you should be studying the keywords that are associated with whatever your book is about. You should know those keywords, the top keywords that your book should be oriented around. And in fact, I've, part of my advice on books is to, uh, particularly nonfiction, is to make sure you have keywords in your subtitle. Leaving that aside for now, when you get to this field, you, I want you to have a 250-word description that reads well, but that is packed with keywords. 
that's what you want. Now think about that. You know, there are a lot of books being published and a lot of people have come into self-publishing. One of the things that we really face as self-publishers is figuring out how our books can be found by people who might even be interested in them. And what we call that is discoverability. Now, having this very keyword-rich description attached to the ISBN and the record for your book in the book, Big Books and Print database is going to be a very powerful factor in people finding your book in search on the internet. Now that is a key thing. So what I want you to do is I want you to go over and look at that article and this uh, information will be useful to you when you do go to the, your printer if you're using POD or if you're uploading an ebook to an ebook retailer they're also going to ask you for information. Guess what? You're already going to have it because you got it ready for doing this particular process we're talking about today. So check that article out, get all that information if this is the process you're in or if you're getting ready to set up your book at uh, Valkerlink or at MyIdentifiers.com. Make sure you fill out every field that's asked for and uh, really work hard on that piece of copy. Now, I'd like to keep answering questions every week so I've opened up the comments underneath this post and if you'd like me to an answer your question next week, Leave me a comment uh, down right underneath there, and I'll see if I can get to it next week. And until then, happy publishing.